and welcome to day 10 of the Royal Melbourne Show. It's the second last day of the show, but there are still so many things to do. Right now, I'm at the Herald Sun Arena, witnessing the horses in action compete for the light harness competition. Then, I'm off to the Cat Championships, and after that, I'm off to see some chainsaw carving. Here we are at the Cat Championships, at the Advanced Dog Pavilion, at the Royal Melbourne Show today. I'm with Josephine. And who's Hi. this one I've got here? This is London Rocks. London Rocks. So tell us, how long have you been here at the show and coming every year? I haven't been admittedly to the Melbourne um, Royal. We, yeah. I come from Sydney, so this is my first time here in Melbourne. Time. Yeah. Oh, lovely. And I understand you're a breeder of the yes. animals? Yeah, I breed and show Devon Rex. I've been doing it for the last 40 years and I love it. Oh, this wow. is one of my fur kids. <laughs> Adorable. So tell us about the breed. Jessica. Well, this is a Devon Rex. It's a curly coated cat. It was discovered in 1960 in Devonshire, England. It's a natural mutation and um, it doesn't have a coat like a normal cat. So if you've got allergies and you don't like lots of hair, this is the way to go. And I understand this is a family cat. Fabulous. Very friendly, yes. as I can tell. <laughs> yep. Is he purring? <laughs> yes. Got his motor on? <laughs> yes. Got his motor on. That's it. And so Josephine, tell us, so what's involved like in preparation for a competition like this? Well, with the Devon Rex, there's not much to do. The idea, yeah, you can climb over. <laughs> obviously, they have to be, obviously, no fleas, which they don't really have. They're a totally indoor cat. Yeah. Um, we just prepare them by giving them perhaps a very, very quick bath, just okay. to get rid of anything, and yeah. um, a bit of powdering up, and he's ready to go. Ready to go. I think temperament is a paramount. Paramount. So in terms of judging? Yes. So what are they judging so exactly? Show temperament. So temperament. obviously he's got it. He yeah. loves to be here. Yeah. That's very important. Otherwise we wouldn't do that if he was unhappy. Yeah. Um, what they go for is, if we put him down, that's what a judge would actually do. He's still purring. Mm -hmm. um, you know, they judge, you know, body type, okay. length of tail, a lovely broad head, lovely low set ears. Uh, and it goes on like that. Okay. <laughs> well, so and a curly coat. And a curly coat. So he's only about eight, eight months, I think. So eight months old. Yes. Yeah, so he's still going to get more coat. Oh, beautiful. Yes. Well, thank you for joining us. You're welcome. And thank good you, boy, to London. You. <laughs> you're going to say hi bye to everybody. And say, thank come you, to the you show. London. Come to the show, good boy. <laughs> Thanks so much. That's Appreciate right. it. Good Thanks. luck today. All right. Thank you. Here I am at the Woodshop Pavilion, watching some chainsaw carving behind us. I'm with Robbie. Thanks for joining us. it up from there and Lovely. yeah pushed on and here you are yeah 2009 I went full time and yeah now yeah. I get to travel the world and compete and it's great yeah. so is this big in, in Victoria look Victoria is probably the biggest you know um chainsaw carving state in Australia yeah uh, just because we've got the good wood anywhere north and that sort of thing especially you know sort of que northern Queensland okay uh northern territory really hard wood and that sort of thing so it's yeah. Don't see many guys doing it. Yeah. Um, yeah, but we're still sort of fledgling in, in the world of chainsaw carving. Um, Canada and, and America, Europe, they're all massive. Yeah. So, yeah. And how long did it take you to learn how to chainsaw carve? Um, I'm pretty, pretty much self-taught. Yeah, look, I've always had a bit of a background in sculpture and that sort of thing through okay. school and that sort of thing. Um, yeah. These guys, I've learned a lot from the other carvers and then, yeah, it's what you sort of practice yourself. Yeah. Yeah. So I guess what would be your best piece I suppose that you've done? Um, I would have to say probably a crocodile again in, in wow. Germany. So um, yeah John and I competed there this year yep. at the Husky Cup and uh, okay. yeah we took fourth place so we're pretty happy with that. Congratulations. And so last year I believe you were a champion? Uh, this year, early this oh, year this we year. had the Australian Championships. Yep. Yeah. And that was at Sky High I believe in the Danny Knox. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Sort of privilege to um, win that one. Just, First so. race, guys. <laughs> High five. Oh. <laughs> well, yeah, some amazing stuff here at the Woodshop Pavilion. I recommend you come and check it out. So it's on today and tomorrow, last day. And uh, see you again soon. Thank you. Thanks for joining me today. What a great day it has been. I've seriously worked myself up an appetite. And now I'm off to the Fresh Food Pavilion to get myself some food. Get you later. Yeah.